Our top story at 11, the continuing saga of the Macon Bibb County budget. Macon Bibb County Operations and Finance Committee met Friday to talk about the county's money matters. Zach Merchant was there and wraps up the latest chapter in the still ongoing story. Bibb County commissioners didn't mince words when it came to their thoughts on the budget they passed on Thursday. You know, I think this is not only a mean-spirited budget, but it's a really stupid budget. Commissioner Larry Schlesinger voted for the budget, but said he did it only to avoid potential legal trouble for the county if commissioners didn't pass any budget. The budget they did pass included major cuts to public programs like libraries, parks, and transit. The Bibb County Finance and Operations Committee met to discuss ways to keep these services in operation. And I'm prepared to support our, our restoring funding to these agencies. And so are a majority of Commissioner Elaine Lucas's fellow committee members. Over the course of the more than two hour meeting, Commissioners Mallory Jones, Virgil Watkins, Larry Schlesinger, and Lucas approved four motions that would amend the county budget and free up millions of dollars for county parks, transit, health services, and libraries. The full commission will make a final vote on the motions Tuesday, and according to Watkins, if they're passed, it would require a millage rate increase to offset the spending. 3.6 mills in all if all four motions are adopted something he says is necessary. I strongly believe that these agencies and these uh, departments deserve funding. Commissioner Mallory Jones was the lone voice of dissent on two of the votes and about two hours into the meeting he got up and left ending the quorum, something Commissioner Al Tillman did not approve of. Uh, that's a dereliction of duty in my uh, estimate. Jones says he walked out because he had a prior engagement and had only been notified about the meeting Friday morning. Jones said if it had been the final vote on these topics he would have stayed as long as it took. And making Zach Merchant, 13 WMAZ News. Well, Larry Schlesinger also left the meeting before its conclusion due to a religious obligation. According to Virgil Watkins, if any of the motions are approved at Tuesday's full meeting, the funds will be restored immediately. He says the millage rate increase would be assessed in August.